Johnny, let's get straight into it then. Rodri. Is, is, it, is, it, is, it, is, is what's happened the last couple of weeks as simple as Rodri's not there? Um, it's obviously not. But um, I think it's obviously a massively contributing factor. I think Roger being out is the straw that broke the camel's back, though. I think with um, De Bruyne being injured, Bernardo being injured, Grealish was injured, um, and then Rodri finally being the one that, like I say, is the straw that broke the camel's back. All of a sudden, we looked at that. I, I went to Wolves away, and I was looking at the midfield, and I felt this just doesn't feel like a City midfield. And we worked it out that it had totally changed man to man from the Champions League final. And obviously we got beat. And then the fear hit that even with Arsenal away last season, it was Rodri, De Bruyne, Gundogan. And there wasn't going to be any of them free in there. So without Rodri at that base, like I say, particularly with De Bruyne injured as well, it just didn't really feel like a City midfield in the last few games. And... It, it, you could tell it, it looked like it. So, um, yeah, desperately need Rodri back. Um, good to have the other guys back as well. But like I say, if it, yeah, I think I think that's what happened basically. So, I mean, everyone's fit now, bar De Bruyne. Yeah, basically, the whole squad is now. Even John Stones probably not at hundred percent. Obviously, only yeah, basically played one as well. That was uh, only basically played now. But I think there's that as well. Do, do you think if he'd have been fully fit, would he have just played John Stones there? I don't know whether there was was a debate, should he just play Stones there? But obviously, whether he can just play that lone six role in front of a centre-back on his own, I'm not sure he could do. I think he's obviously okay sort of stepping up into midfield alongside a six. Whether he could have done that role on his own, I'm not sure, especially in a big game like Arsenal. So it sounds like what you're saying, the concern is greater than just Rodri. Obviously, him coming back is a huge boost. But is there concern beyond that then? I don't think so now. Like I said, I think it was just the others being injured. Um, I think now Rodri's back and they're all back. I think we've seen in the past that we can cope without De Bruyne. But um, like I said, I think you can cope without De Bruyne if Rodri's there. I don't think you can cope with without De Bruyne if, like I say, you take Rodri, you take Bernardo, you take Stones out of midfield as well. You just look very light all of a sudden. Is Rodri your most important player? Yeah, Is definitely. That- Definitely for you. So you you would cope without Holland better than cope without Rodri, yeah. basically. Hundred percent, hundred percent. What is it? What is it about him for those who don't watch you enough? He's the best. Well, he's the best defensive midfielder in the world. Towards the end of last season, he was arguably the best midfielder in the world. Um, it's it's just level. It's just it's just become an absolutely imperious midfielder. Where I think he's getting towards the levels. Of that, like Torre did for us, where he's just like a one man midfield, never loses the ball, wins every duel um, that he competes for, scores clutch goals, is the main sort of like creative hub that keeps us ticking over. The way he switches the ball so much, that's something you've noticed. We were just so slow to switch play. Um, like I say, everything just goes for him now. It's that, isn't it? A lot of people have referenced that. His creativity is less. Without your holding midfield player, right? Yeah. It's really, really interesting. Sam, are you gutted that Rodri's back? <laughs> yes. Yeah, it would have been easier without him, uh, for sure. Yeah. 